The East African Development Bank, located in Kampala, Uganda, was one of the institutions of the old East African community. But when the community collapsed in 1977, individual partners says Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania later agreed each to hold shares in the bank, whose charter had been redrawn to make it an independent institution. Rwanda was later admitted to join the bank in 2008 after it joined the East African community. When the East African community was revived in 2000, Article 9 of the treaty stipulated that the East African Development Bank, Lake Victoria Fisheries Organization, and other surviving institutions of the community shall be deemed to be institution of the community. Uganda decided that uh, this organ, which was supposed to be their share, should be available, should be returned to the community. However, for the last 19 years, the bank has since remained in the hands of individual partner states and efforts to have it taken over by the East African community remained a matter of debate. Now, plans are underway for the East African community to repossess the bank by December 2018. By December 2018, something will have happened. By January something, 2019, something will be happening. Now, these are the, the last stages which will be able to bring the institution as a full-fledged institution of East African community. Kive Jinja was answering questions put to him by lawmakers of the East African Legislative Assembly in Arusha, Tanzania. Why always the Auditors Commission, they bring back the issue of East African Development Bank uh, 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 to be audited by the, the Audit Commission as a query, that there is a conflict, a conflict between the provisions of the treaty and the provisions of uh, the Charter for the East African Development Bank. The East African Development Bank is not entirely owned by the East African community. The bone of contention has always been that the bank is not subject to the ESC Audit Commission, which would make it accountable to the community. Currently, Uganda has 27.3% shareholding, Kenya 27.3% shareholding, Tanzania 23.7%, while Rwanda has got 9.5%. Other shareholders are African Development Bank, FMO Netherlands, DEG Germany, Yugoslavia Consortium, SBI Africa Holdings, Commercial Bank of Africa, Nordea Bank of Sweden, Standard Chartered Bank, and Barclays Bank of London. The summit of the heads of state of the six partner states are due to sit in December this year and it's expected and it's expected that the decision will finally be taken to fully make the East African Development Bank an institution of the community. It is also expected that Burundi and South Sudan will be given shareholding in the bank without dropping small shareholders who are instrumental in funding the community. You, you cannot get rid of those other shareholders overnight. That's why the, the process has taken so long. But these are issues that are going to be sorted out by December, the chairperson of the cancer said. In 2009, the bank nearly went into receivership after a Tanzanian businessman was awarded a course amounting to 100 million US dollars following a 10 years legal battle with the bank. But the shareholders who are partner states resolved to bail out the bank. Jingo Francis, NTV, in Arusha, Tanzania.